If you guys had a super villain Olympics, what do you think would be Harley Quinn pet event? So if you could combine pole vaulting, since she now is pretty adept with the javelin, explosives, um, weaponry, and gymnastics into one big event, that would be her field. What would be Javelin's event? Javelin's event would be the Heartbreak Catwalk. He would just walk around that Olympic Stadium sashaying as sassy as possible and counting how many hearts will he break with that rumpus. Answer, how much is the capacity of the stadium? Minus one, because he already loves himself. <laughs>
different points in our lives when we feel like we don't have anything of worth to offer the world, when we feel like we don't have any friends, when we feel like it's such a beautiful, beautiful, incredible experience being a human being. But damn, if it isn't like really hard. Um, and I love that Abner gets to be that because a lot of times in, su in superhero films, everything seems like veneered with uh, the simplicity of it all. And uh, that's not, that's not, that's not the stories that James Gunn wants to tell. It's not the stories that we want to see. So I, I was just honored to get to bring out her to life like that. Talking about James Gunn, like, did he give you guys a lot of leeway to sort of embrace the characters? Because it's a huge and it's a wild ensemble cast. I think James is a, is a, is a wonderful, wonderful director. So I, I really don't have much interest in trying to do anything other than please James. The material is so strong in the first place. His vision is so strong. The script is so great. My job is just to inhabit that as best as I can. That said, James would always, once you'd done all of his lines, he would suddenly say to you, right, you say something now. And so he'd let you, he, he would want you to, to just improvise stuff. And we got a license to just goof around and, and try to make each other laugh. And we would be improvising and ad-libbing. And, you know, none of that, ended up in the movie there was i don't think there was a <laughs> single improvised line that actually ended up in the movie but it created this atmosphere on set where it made our lines feel improvised and ad-libbed we were particularly happy that we that james gunn decided to come on board and to write his version of the suicide squad i think everyone when they heard that james was coming on they felt like this is a great pairing this is a great match you know and then when we got the first version of the script, that was that first draft is very close to the finished movie. So wow. that, that's how clear his vision was going into this. I think I think he made his best film here. The ambience and the, the feeling of the set was really familiar. Uh, James was so well prepared for what we were doing that we weren't wasting time um, like trying to figure out what we were going to do. So we had a lot of time to be focused and to have a laugh and to be like relaxed and not stressed at all. If there was a villain Olympics happening right now, what would be TDK's pet event? The event would be the jewel heist. You'd have to get in there, get the jewel, and make an escape. That would be his best event. Nice. I think you'll have a little arm up, a leg up or an arm up when it comes to that hey. event. Wow, that's one we haven't used. Getting a leg up. <laughs> Oh!